Hey guys, it's Shannon from That DIY Couple, and today I'm gonna show you how I prepare seven days of salad on the weekend and make sure that it stays fresh all week long. So every weekend, as you guys know, I prepare my food. I follow a whole food plant-based diet and I try to get in as many fruits and veggies and micronutrients into my diet as I possibly can. And one of the things that some of you have identified as a challenge in your life is trying to prepare salads, which will keep fresh. It just seems oftentimes when we prepare a salad, it won't even keep a day, let alone an entire week. I wanna show you the sort of method that I have come to use over the last two years of food prepping, which works really well for me. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step and go over each um, thing, everything that I use and the things that go into my salad, and I'll link the recipes for my salads down below. As a lot of you know, um, I've lost a lot of weight eating this way, and I have a longer food prep video, but today I really wanna get into the nitty gritty of how we keep these salads fresh. So let's get into it. This is the kind of jar that I use to hold my salads. This is a ball mason jar. I got this in the quart size. They also come in the smaller pint size. I use those for other things like beans, squash, sauerkraut. But for my big salads, I like to use the quart size jar. And a lot of people think that people just use these mason jars because they look good on Instagram or whatever. There's a, there are several reasons that I like to use these jars. I like these jars because they're incredibly durable, they're incredibly versatile. I can use them as a drinking jar, I can use them for canning, and they last a really long time. Um, I also can just throw them in the dishwasher really easily. I don't because I don't have a dishwasher, but you could. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, they, they are, keep things incredibly fresh. Um, these are actually designed to be canning jars, but they have this um, wonderful seal here. And when you put this on and then you screw it on top, I feel like it does a very good job of almost vacuum sealing the um, food inside there. And I, I just feel like, especially for salads, these keep things incredibly fresh. So I love these. I don't have to worry about any of the evidence linking plastic, um, putting putting things in too much plastic to cancer and other adverse health, health um, effects, so um, these are fantastic. And they look nice on Instagram, which is a bonus. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is what I use, the quart size ball mason jar. This is this is what the mason jars look like when I buy them at Target. One thing you notice is that it's BPA free, which I like, this is the quart size. And I like to look for this, the wide mouth. The wide mouth just makes it a little bit easier to stuff salad in there. So here you can see that I have seven jars for seven, days worth of jars. I like to eat salad for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, I'm crazy, but I love it. And so I have seven salads, three salads per day for seven days. So as a lot of you guys know, I like to eat a lot of fruit. So here is all the fruits and veggies that I have chopped up for these salads. Um, I'm gonna put those on the bottom first. So the first thing I'll do is I'll put in a little bit of pineapple and a little bit of strawberry and a little bit of kiwi, and a little bit of uh, peach, a little bit of peach, a couple of blackberries, a couple of blueberries, and a couple of grapes. I like to buy whatever fruit is in season because I follow a bright line eating philosophy. I measure this out to make sure that it's six, inch, or six ounces. Um, I can link the recipes that I use down below, and these are recipes that have helped me lose a lot of weight, but um, what I'll do is I'll put the fruit in and then I'll sort of put it on the scale and then I'll remove bit or add as needed. But I have a pretty good sense at this point how, about how much six ounces is, so I definitely don't have to do too many adjustments. So there's the fruit. So after the fruit, I put any other, what I call sweaty veggies that I like, that I'm gonna be adding to the salad this week. So this would include stuff like onions or bell peppers or carrots, any other vegetable which has like a little bit of like a watery membrane, I put towards the bottom. So here I'm gonna put in a couple of onions. And the reason that I do this is because um, with salad, you really wanna keep the salad itself not wet. And so you wanna put everything that's kind of sweaty or wet down at the bottom so that gravity works in your favor and that all the juices run down. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate all these wet and sweaty veggies, which also release little gases 
which will eventually make salad go bad. Um, to So I, I'm putting them all towards the bottom and then I'm gonna push them down with a layer of hearty cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables include things like broccoli or cabbage, which are really firm and contain a lot of um, fantastic for you stuff called sulforaphane, which is an um, active ingredient in those vegetables, which has been shown to have cancer fighting properties. I'm gonna use those to push this down and also separate um, the gases that are gonna get kind of trapped there by the cruciferous vegetables from the spinach, which I'm gonna put on top. So here goes a little bit of broccoli. Next, I'm gonna put a bunch of this red cabbage in. Red cabbage is so good for you and it creates a good barrier between my wet veggies and my spinach and I'm just gonna push it down just like that. All right, the ne very next thing is that I'm gonna put in my greens. And so this is the type that I like to buy. I like to buy it pre-washed so that I don't have to do worry about washing it and then waiting for it to dry before I can put it back into the salad. And I like to reuse these plastic containers to plant more salads. I can um, do a video on that later. However, the most important thing to know is that don't use spring mix. Spring mix will go bad almost immediately. Baby spinach will stay fresh for much longer. Kale, I think, stays fresh the longest, but I don't like the taste of kale very much. So I use baby spinach and it works really well. So first I'm gonna put that in now. So I like to put in a ton of baby spinach. As I'm doing it, I push it down. Sometimes you get a little like spoiled sleeper agent like this in your salad and you have to take crap like this out or it will make everything else go bad. So throw this away. All right, so even when it's like really full, I like to push it way down and pack in literally as much as I can. Here's another sleeper agent, throw that away. So here it is with the spinach in it. The next thing I'm gonna put on top and final thing is just a couple of pieces of portobello mushroom. I'm trying to add more mushrooms to my diet due to their uh, incredible health benefits, including um, the ability to stop the formation of new blood cell vessels, which feed cancer cells. And so I put those on top just because mushrooms are pretty delicate and I think they tend to get gro grody when I put them down with the sweaty veggies. Um, and that's it, you guys. Here goes the lid on top. And then you just screw it on like that. And there's the salad. So that's it, you guys. Here's the final product. Three salads per day for seven days. Next, I'm gonna show you one that I made last week, so it's actually a week old. So this is the one I just grabbed from the fridge. It's actually a different type of salad. It has um, raspberries in there and some carrots too. And I'm just gonna show you what it looks like after a week. So there's the mushrooms on top. I'm gonna show you here. All right, so you can see that like the fruit is like a little bit juicy because it's been pushed down and stuff like that. But the salad itself is actually really in good shape. And when you mix these things together, it tastes absolutely delicious. So the final and most important component is that you obviously don't want to dress your salads when you're prepping them on the weekend. You want to dress them in the moment. So what I do is I keep a big bowl at work. I bring my salads in and then I pour them into the bowl and I dress them with the salad dressing, which I prefer, which I keep under my desk, and that's some sort of oil, one tablespoon, and then tamari sauce, which is literally just gluten-free soy sauce. And I love that like, this tastes. You can also, if you don't like tamari, you could use any sort of vinegar, red wine, balsamic, whatever you like. But I do one tablespoon of this, and then about one or two tablespoons of this, and I just do that right at my desk, mix it up, and enjoy it. And it's a delicious way to eat, and one that helps me um, maintain my weight and feel my best. So for those of you who follow Bright Line Eating, I like to just do one about one capful of oil 
um, because I found when I measured it that was about a tablespoon. And then I do about two capfuls of the tomato sauce. This is what it looks like when it's all dressed up and it's really, really delicious. So that's it you guys, that's how I make salads that last me all week. If you like this video, please help me out by giving me a thumbs up and please hit subscribe, it really helps us out. If you have any questions or if you do something differently, please comment down below. And until next time, thanks for watching, bye guys.